everybody asks the same thing. What they ask for is a membership site where they can create content, protect it for different levels, and let those all those people in that level see the same content. And at the same time, they want to be able, for certain kinds of members, for certain levels, they want to be able to give them direct one-on-one communication. They want to be able to have a dialogue back and forth or to give them special assignments or to give them uh, updated data. There's all sorts of different things that they want to do that is unique to that specific member. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it uh, from a website that I host over at WP Engine called membertesting.wpengine.com. This is where I create a bunch of different membership sites so that I can write about it, talk about it, and help people see how these things work. And of course, I have a single plugin, Paid Memberships Pro, which is free, and one of their add-ons. It's called User Pages Add-on, and you can see exactly what it does right here. When a user signs up, it creates a page for them. Now, only if you set it up right, which we'll look at in just a second. These are the only two, and you'll notice there are no settings for this add-on, uh, at least not here. There are settings for this guy, so we're gonna click on settings just to step into it, and I'll show you what I've done. I've created a single level. This is called beginner. You would you would likely call it something other than beginner. You might call it, you know, your first year of guitar lessons, or you might call it, uh, you know, Legal Help 101, or How to Sell Your Home, or any of the myriad of options that you have if you're running a program where you want to not only present your own content to everyone, but customize it for each of your customers. And so uh, I created this called Beginner. I left it free. Uh, I, I let anybody sign up for it right now and uh, didn't, didn't spend a lot of time trying to configure gateways for it. In the Pages section, if you've never installed this plugin before, um, you will be able to, you'll get a link somewhere over in this section that says add the pages for me and you'll see that they're all here. Of course, it'll also give you short codes if you want to drop it into your existing pages. In the Payment Gateway, Paid Memberships Pro comes with a lot of different integrations for different solutions. I'm leaving it in testing only just because I am uh, not really stressed about the money side of it for this example. I really didn't do anything in email settings, uh, but I unchecked a bunch of outbound emails because of this demo. You would likely keep those checked. In the advanced, all I did was change from no, hide all the excerpts to show the excerpts. I like people to see an excerpt and then when they try and get in, get invited to sign up. And then of course we talked about the add-ons. And I, I don't know if I was clear enough to say Paid Memberships Pro has a ton of add-ons. You'll see here there are 56 I haven't installed. I have installed one. That's the one we're talking about, User Pages Add-on. And you do have to pay a little something to get access to this. I'm going to show that to you at the end, but it's well worth doing. When you activate it, you're going to see one more setup, and that is over here in this menu. It says User Pages. And you'll see the setup here. You have two things to configure. I'm going to start with the second one here, which is what does User Pages level mean? Well, it means this. Imagine that you have a program. Imagine you're doing something where you're teaching guitar lessons and you're like, well, for the people that come and just pay a little bit to get access to the, uh, you know, to the lessons themselves and the charts that I, I you know, I do that as my, um, you know, guitar 101, they don't get user pages. And then I have people where they pay more and, you know, we get on a phone call once a week, but also they upload a video to me or I give them extra uh, charts they can download or so, you know some other interaction, but it's unique to them. Well, you might see a second level here and that may be the one you pick, right? So this just basically says, tell us which levels get their own pages. In my case, because I only have one level, we're just gonna select that one. The second piece is this notion of what's the top level page? Now, you don't really have to understand much of this to understand that What's going to happen is you need to create a placeholder so that all the other pages can tuck in underneath it. And what I mean by that is when you go to the pages section and you'll see all the pages they created, they're going to hang pages off this for each user, that's my username, and what program they're in, that's beginner, they're going to hang it off something. So you got to create something. Now, you'll notice when I created this, it's blank. There's nothing here. It's not a big deal, right? Um... And that's what that's the setting we're doing. We're saying, oh, go attach it to user pages, and then they will create everything underneath. That's really all you do. Now, I'll highlight 
the, f- the good folks over at Paid Memberships Pro have also created, uh, and if you buy the right package, they've created a theme called Member Light, and that's what you're going to be seeing when we step into looking at this site. They know a whole lot about membership sites, and so they've created a theme to make it a little easier. Now, what we'll do is we're going to go over and take a look at what happens when we look at the site, right? When we come into the site, you'll see that because of the theme, it has me logged in. You can also log out. And in the menu, it I have home, but also have membership account. Of course, I should also note when I'm at home, I'm seeing not only the welcome message that's available for free for everyone, but I'm also seeing other articles, right? And these are articles in a section that's protected by that category. But I'm, I'm in a membership program, so I get to see them all, right? When I come over to my membership account, You'll notice it gives me a secondary set of options here to look at uh, and interact with. It also shows what membership plan I'm on. It shows my information. It shows my invoices. In this case, like we said, it's free. But then we get to the special part. These are the member links. And in this case, this is that private content. And so I, as a logged in user, clicked on this guy, came in here, scrolled down, clicked on my special link, And that special link is just for me. It knows exactly who I am. It has information just for me, right? And you'll see the breadcrumbs, home, and then user pages, because we said tuck them in under there. That's my username, which, of course, is a little silly. You'd prefer that it wasn't my actual name. And this is the program I'm in, and this is that page. And if we come back over and take a look at our pages, what you're going to see is the way that page showed up that way is because it all was created over here. Here's that beginner page, and when we go in we can edit it specifically for that person, right? Now, this paste, this this post that's automatically created, this page normally has one line of text that says thank you for whatever. And of course, as an admin, I can change it because this page is only visible to two people, the admin who gets to go in here and manipulate it and the actual member who gets to see it on the front end like we just did. So I came in here and I, I edited it. The good news is if you buy one of those, if you buy that bundle over at Paid Memberships Pro, you also get access to a whole bunch of different recipes. And recipes are their way of saying, we wrote some sample code or we wrote some baseline code for you that will do everything you want to do uh, if you want to, if you know, if you want to use it to do something fancy that isn't part of the plugin. And in this particular case, if you wanted to put this text here automatically for every member, uh, if you wanted to change the default text, they have a recipe for doing that, which is kind of nifty. Now, what's really great is we can take a look and, and, you know, copy this guy here. I said it's just for these guys. I'm going to come log out, right? Now, because I log out, I'm going to come back to this page. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, let's, uh, let's go back to that page. But, of course, I'm logged out, right? Nobody else gets access to it. I actually have to go log back in, right, in order for me to get access to my custom page. And, of course, Uh, I'm not really trying to be an admin right now, so I'm coming back to the website. And if I want to go back to that URL now, right, paste and go there, now I can see my special content. Only me, only me and whoever the admin is. So only the member and whoever's the admin who's running it. All of this is powered by Paid Memberships Pro, which is, uh, I, I told you that I would, whoops, show you where to get it. Paid Memberships Pro itself is free. You can download the plugin anytime you want. But if you take a look at their pricing, you will also notice that bundle I was talking about, right? It's $197. It's well worth it. Not only are you getting that plugin, you get the documentation, you get access to support, uh, you get that theme we were talking about. Of the 57 add-ons, 42 of them are uh, premium that you don't get for free or you don't get with the core offering, but you do get with PM Pro Plus. And so I highly recommend it. Plus you get the um, add-ons, the the you know the, the installs and updates. And then remember we were talking about those recipes, right? So if you wanted to be able to do something fun, you can do that there as well. The add-on we're talking about, right? If you, you, you know, forgot for just a second, it's one of the plus add-ons. Like I said, they have a whole lot. So when we get here, we have to scroll all the way to the bottom And when we get to the bottom, you'll see it here, user pages. And this is the guy. Of course, I have an account, and so I can just download it. You would have to sign up for an account so that you can do it. But 
Uh, it's really easy. It shows you exactly uh, what I've just walked you through. If you're a developer, you know exactly what hooks and filters you can use for it. Um, but I highly recommend, if this is, like I said, this is the holy grail, right? People wanting to have content that is totally protected for groups of people and then content that's very unique for individuals. You can do that using Paid Memberships Pro and user pages. Thanks.